It is a choice many women are forced to make, children or a career. Many women who put off motherhood until middle age find themselves in a race against their biological clock. Those who wait might be faced with serious infertility problems. But some new advances in science are putting women on the same playing field now as men when it comes to starting a family. WB11's Melody Moon joins us in new advances in science. Melody, are giving women hope. It's very exciting. It looks like the race is over. New medical technology can help a woman virtually freeze her biological clock. We want to warn you ahead of time, some of this video, while very exciting, is a surgery video, so you may find it a little graphic. In April 2004, a first-of-its-kind surgery was performed in St. Louis on a set of identical twins. Infertility specialist Dr. Sherman Silver transplanted ovarian tissue from one twin into the other. The recipient twin, who was menopausal by age 14, gave birth to a daughter a little over a year after the transplant. We've done four more since that first case, so we've done five ovary transplants between identical twin sisters, and they've all worked. Now, that's pretty spectacular. The procedure has vast implications, especially when it comes to ovarian tissue freezing, giving new hope to cancer patients like Melissa Durant. The fact that I couldn't have children really scared and frightened me. Two years ago, at the age of 21, Melissa was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma. She was told her treatment would include very high doses of chemotherapy. I thought, I'm young, I can do it. The odds are looking really great for me. Hodgkin's lymphoma, very curable. And then I really started looking into my papers and my books that you get, and I came across the fertility, and I burst into tears. When she found out the chemo would make her infertile, Melissa turned to Dr. Silber. In a simple outpatient surgery, Dr. Silber removed tissue from her ovaries. Since all of the eggs in a woman's ovaries are located on the outer rim, only a small incision was needed to dissect the thin outer membrane from the ovary and remove it. The tissue was then put through a computer-controlled, gradual freezing process. When it's that thin, it's easy to freeze without hurting it because you can get the cryoprotectants or the antifreeze to diffuse into the tissue quickly and easily. And there's another advantage of it. We can then just transplant it back through a little tiny incision. Well, this technology has been around since the late 90s. For the first time, it's also being considered as an option for the woman who doesn't anticipate starting a family until her late 30s or 40s. Dr. Silver says most infertility problems are age-related. The biological clock is an issue, and this is a technology that's going to solve the, or offers at least a solution uh, to women to freeze their biologic clock uh, so that they don't have to think about going through IVF in the future. If a woman is using this procedure to prolong fertility, Dr. Silver will first do an ultrasound on the woman's ovaries to determine if she will benefit from the tissue freezing. By counting the follicles, which are the little black holes in the outer part of the ovaries, Dr. Silver can actually count a woman's eggs. When you come in and have your antral follicle count ultrasound, well, plus some horm simple hormone tests, but the ultrasound is the main thing. We can tell you where you are in your biologic clock. That's something Melissa will never have to worry about. She calls it the one positive from her cancer diagnosis. I don't have a biological clock anymore. He took it away from me. <laughs> so when I'm ready to have kids, it's not going to be a problem. Dr. Silber has a new book out titled How to Get Pregnant. It goes into detail about the latest procedures, including ovarian tissue freezing, egg counting, and also egg freezing. In the last year, he says there have been huge advances in egg freezing. For some women, in vitro fertilization is their only option for pregnancy. And in the past, it's been very, very hard to freeze eggs. So that's another huge, exciting advancement. It just seems also amazing, amazing. and spectacular. I, I would guess this is pretty expensive. What about the cost you know, of some of these procedures? It's really not that bad. Um, for the egg counting, there's a, most insurances will cover the ultrasounds and there's a consultation fee of $500. If you go ahead with the tissue freezing, it's $4,700. It varies from patient to patient, but the consultation fee will be used towards the ovarian tissue freezing. And if it's for cancer reasons, a lot of insurance will cover part of it, maybe all of it. Truly amazing. Fascinating stuff. I know. Thanks.